you actually touched on you know on something that um i really wanted to talk to you about as well and this is exactly you know the harder part of achieving success being a female in the industry which is you know i mean everyone talks about it but it's it really you know it really takes you to see it from the inside of it to actually realize how difficult it is and I having this sort of experience in, in seeing how things are actually happening from the inside of the industry and seeing all the um, terrible things and, you know, uh, just this whole of, you know, need for females to compensate, to overly compensate constantly and to prove themselves in order to just reach the, uh, the basic level of appreciation and respect mm. from everyone is... Um, I just think, and I can't imagine what it is. And the way I imagine it is that it's very difficult and it's so challenging and takes such a strong spirit to do it. And um, I was curious to hear your point on that. And especially when it comes to, obviously, you joining Dragon Falls, because, you know, this is such a, I guess, beloved band by so many different audiences, but I can definitely um imagine this sort of uh, approach towards the audience to you as you've exp as you've mentioned it in terms of you know having these sort of dudes that you know are so invested in the band and being like hey you, like you just need to be so technical and you have to be this amazing musician and do you really deserve this sport and you know i can imagine that you're dealing with a lot of this sort of backlash in general and mm -hmm. um when you got the opportunity to join the band, was this something that you were considering and thinking about? Was this something that was making you nervous to take advantage of such an opportunity? Or was it just something that, you know, uh, you didn't really think was a factor? Um. I mean, I've always, I think every woman in the industry deals with it. So I knew going into it, I'd already dealt with it already in other bands, but I knew it was going to be, you know, definitely a big factor, especially mm -hmm. with such a bigger metal band. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, at the same time, it makes me kind of feel really good to do it mm -hmm. because, you know, for all the guys that maybe aren't rooting for me, there's a ton of very supportive people also, men included, um, like the Dragon Force fan base, for the most part, have been very supportive and nice and welcoming, which I was grateful for. But also for the women out there, like, like even on this tour alone, I had, there was, I remember these, a few ladies in particular on different nights had come up to me after the show and just, like there was one woman um, who had like t almost tears in her eyes and she was just like, I just wanted to thank you because it really meant a lot seeing a woman up there and like holding it down with all the guys. And, you know, mm -hmm. like it, it really means a lot for moments like that, you know, to mm -hmm. kind of do it for other women out there and, you know, have like other girls potentially that might want to do it and to have them believe like it's possible. Cause it is. And, it, and I think over time it's only getting better, mm -hmm. you know, like, like Joan Jett, she really paved the way for I for what I'm doing now, you know, mm -hmm. like for so many other women. And hopefully the women like me and other women out there now are going to make it easier for women mm -hmm. in the future. So, you know, it's moments like that that make it worth it. Um, you're always going to deal with stuff along the way, but so are other men out there too in the industry. Mm -hmm. Like it's just certain things you got to deal with. But um, yeah, and then having your bandmate support also like I remember before our announcement of me in Dragon Force Herman actually called me the night before which was really really nice and he said hey I just want to let you know there's going to be some assholes out there on the internet some trolls saying really bad things because you're the first woman in our band mm -hmm. and I just want to let you know you have our support don't listen to them you're going to kick ass and like that meant a lot you know so mm -hmm. um yeah <laughs> that that's so amazing honestly because um i i got such a huge respect for the band just you know uh offering you this position and giving you this opportunity because 
you know, obviously I know you before that, you know, uh, I, we, we met and we talked for the first time. Um, I think it was in Manchester. Manchester, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, with your activity with uh, Visual Floor, obviously, which is, you know, amazing band. And we'll talk, we'll talk about, uh, about it a bit more now. But um, when Dragon Force and Houses, I was so happy to see that. And I was like, wow, these guys are really, you know, I, I, I just, you know, experienced such a huge respect for them for doing this and for choosing new and for taking such a step because I don't think many bands, to be fair, would do something like that nowadays, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, just overthinking different factors and thinking about uh, a whole scope of things that are, uh, you know, not music related or, or whatever the case might be. And, um, you know, it, it, this seems as such a, such a, you know, um, such a natural and... Um, it seems that you have such a natural synergy between yourselves. And um, I remember, you know, you appearing on Herman's street streams and just doing st things together. And even on your appearance on social media, it seems that you have such a good connection. Um, and I, I, would be, I would be interested to hear your thoughts on that. Was that something that, you know, um, you, know uh, you just bonding together, something that came naturally? Or was it something that, you know, developed through the time? Um, I'd say both. But mm -hmm. I mean, especially because so Herman's the only one that lives here in L.A. So I did get to know him and his wife and they were both just immediately off the back, very welcoming, very supportive. Mm -hmm. And it made me feel very comfortable in that environment. And they were just like rooting me on the whole time. Mm -hmm. So um that meant the world and then you know getting to know the other guys they're like my brothers you know um they're all really cool i don't get to see them as much but obviously we spent a lot of time on the road so mm -hmm. yeah i feel close to all of them and i grew i guess closer to those guys on the road and you know mm -hmm. so okay. yeah it's i have nothing but respect for everyone and i'm glad that i have their support and <laughs> amazing that's a, yeah. that's so great it really seems that you have such a positive connection between yourselves so that's so awesome to see you know